your glory. Lord, 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 Lord. Come and bless us through your word. Come and teach us your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the living Jesus. We bless the name of Almighty God this morning. Uh, the Lord Almighty is going to bless and uh, ordain us for good things in the name of Jesus. The Lord is going to protect and guide us in the name of Jesus. This morning I want to speak on this topic, the heart of the Lord and divine blessing. The heart of the Lord and divine blessing. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. We want to explore the significance of the heart of the Lord and how it attracts blessing. How the heart of the Lord is significant and how it attracts the blessings of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to look at the spiritual heart of the Lord. Amen. Uh, historically, the heart of the Lord is Israeli done by the Israelites. They have the heart of the Lord that they put in holy place. Israeli dwell among the people. They usually carry it along wherever they are going. Praise the Lord. Amen. And it's always symbolizing the presence of God. And it contains the template of the Lord. They have the iron rod that bordered and pot of manna. Three things are inside the ark of the Lord. Praise the Lord. The tablet of the Lord, Aaron rod, and the manna, the, 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 the pot of manna. Praise the Lord. It symbolizes the presence of the Almighty God. Wherever they are going, they carry it alone. Because we believe that God is inside the heart. And whenever they are going to war, they always win. Wherever the heart of the Lord is with them. The heart of the Lord brings miracles, it bring prosperity, it brings joy, it brings salvation, it brings deliverance to the Israelites when God is among them. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it's every say the God's presence. But today the heart of the Lord is no longer in vogue. We are no longer carrying the heart of the Lord alone. We are no longer preparing the heart of the Lord in the church. But our body, that we say our body is the temple of the Lord. Since our body is the temple of the Lord, it has represented the heart of the Lord. Our body has represented the heart of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So when a body represents the presence of God, when God is dwelling in us, we are blessed with all manner of blessing that God can be on men. We have blessings with us. We have deliverance with us. We have freedom with us. We have Sunday with us. Whenever God is dwelling in our lives, is God dwelling in your lives? I'm asking you, is God dwelling in you? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the New Testament, the heart of the Lord and the same, the indwelling presence of God in our life. The Holy Spirit, the Nephi are now the temple of the Almighty God. When the Holy Spirit is upon us, it has taken care of all the three things in the Old Testament heart. Holy Spirit is the embodiment of God's earth. When the Holy Spirit dwells in us, we are alive, we are no longer dead. We are alive. We are guided by the Spirit of God. God is leading us. The, the Old Testament heart was leading the Israelites. He was guiding them wherever they would go. We would tell them where to go. We would tell them where not to go. Now we have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the heart, the new heart. 
that is directing us, that is guiding us, that is leading us, that will not go astray. Praise the Lord. We are ever the presence of God, there is always liberty. Sickness cannot live with God. Barrenness cannot live with God. Pain cannot live with God. Hallelujah. The blessings of God is attracted to those who that are possessed with the Spirit of God. Amen. When you have the Spirit of God, you are attracted, you are, you attract, you, your body will attract prosperity. It will attract, attract blessing. You will not be poor. You will not be suffering. You will not be a failure in life when God is with you. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, Israelites were winning war those days when we have the ark of God with them. So you are going to be conquering, you will be winning war. You are going to be at your first too. The enemy will not have any impact in your life. They will not succeed in your life. They will not be able to pull you down. You will not fail. You are going to succeed and make it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. How do we maintain spiritual hack? of God. When Holy Spirit is with us, when God is with us, we need to maintain it. There was a time the Philistines, they fought against Israelite. They snatched the heart of the Lord from them and they carried them, carried to their own dead nation. When they started having problems with that heart of the Lord, they put it in front of that God. That God fell and scattered. Praise the Lord. Because they did not know how to maintain it. They did not know what it requires. They did not know how to take care of the heart of the Lord. And they started suffering. Sickness started. Calamity started among them. Praise the Lord Jesus. There are a way to maintain the heart of the Lord. Number one is to be them to the word of God. You have to be obedient to the word of God. You have to be obedient to the word of God. If you read John, John chapter 14, verse 23. <clears throat> John 14, 23. John 14, 23. <clears throat> Jesus answered and said unto unto them, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Every day he said, Jesus answered and said unto them, If a man love me, he will keep my word, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him. And make our abode with him. I think we are going to be living with him. If you obey my word, if you obey my instruction, my father and I will be with that person. God will be living in you when you, you, you obey the instruction of God. When you do uh, go against the, the, the instruction of God, when you don't go against the scripture, the Lord will abide with you. The Holy Spirit will abide with you. And Christ will also. Abide with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us obey the instruction of the Almighty God. Let us be obedient to the instruction of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Number two, a heart of worship and prayer. You will have a heart of worship and prayer. You will be prayerful. Amen. You will be prayerful and uh, going to worship God in His holiness. In the book of uh, First Thessalonians 5, uh, 5 uh, 17, it says, Pray always, pray without ceasing. We must try to pray. It's a prayer that strengthens the, the heart of God in us. It's prayer that refresh the heart of God in us. It's prayer that energizes the heart of God in us. When we are not praying, it becomes dormant. It becomes ineffective. 
Praise the Lord. And they lose so many things when we are not praying. But when we are praying, we are strengthening the heart of God in us. When we are worshiping God, we are strengthening the potency of the heart of God in us. So let us continue to pray and worship God. Let us have time dedicated to prayer and worship. Apart from what is going on in the church, praise the Lord. Let us have our own time of worship. Let us have our own time of prayer so that we will strengthen the heart of God in us. Praise the Lord. Number three, repentance and purity. Repentance and purity. Praise the living Jesus. We have to repent and be pure. Amen. We have to be holy. We repent of our sin and make ourselves pure unto the Lord. Amen. In the book of Psalm, Psalm 50, Psalm 51, Verse 10. I will say, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. We must have a right spirit. We must have a clean heart to make sure that the heart of the Lord in our life remains potent. Remain active, remain strong. Hallelujah. And how does the heart of God bring blessing to people? How does the heart of God bring blessing? Through divine favor and protection. God's presence in our life brings divine protection and favor. Amen. It brings divine favor. It brings protection. Psalm 91, verse 2, 1, 1 and 2. Tell he that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in whom we I trust. God, in whom I trust. God is the God of protection. When the heart of the Lord lives in us, when the Spirit of God lives in us, we are under the God protection. Lord, we abat all form of trouble, all form of evil that is coming on our ways. Because we are under His shadow. We are under His cover. We are under His protection. The Lord will not allow evil to be followed. We will not allow us to go undergo the destruction, calamity. The devil will be planning it. By the devil will be planning it, God will stop me the plan of the devil in our lives. Praise the Lord. So the act of the Lord is a great thing that any person can have. Hallelujah. It's a great thing that anybody in life can have. So we have the right favor and protection through the heart of the Lord. And Lord number two, we have guidance and direction. We have guidance and direction. God guide us through his heart and was guiding the Israelites. When they are in the wilderness, God was guiding them through the heart of the Lord. And God also be guiding us this day and give us divine direction. The direction is very vital in the life of any man. Any man that does not know direction cannot succeed, cannot make it. If you are going the wrong direction, you will never fulfill the promise of God in your life. Your destiny will never be fulfilled when you are taking the wrong decision. People say, decision determines destiny. Decision determines destiny. If you take a wrong decision in life, if you take decision, wrong decision in marriage, you will never enjoy your life. When you take a wrong decision in your career, you can never make it. So direction is very important. When you are guide, when God is guiding us, you don't know what you enjoy. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Naomi and his and her family, the husband and the children, they tried to leave Bethlehem, Judea, one time, and they went to Mo uh, Moab. When they got to Moab, the two, the two children died. The husband died, and it became empty. When Naomi came back to his town, Amen. When he came, she came back to the town, they were fled, they were calling now. He said, Don't call me now again. I went in plenty, but I came back empty. You did not go back empty than the Lord Jesus. Because God did not give that direction to leave Bethlehem, Judea, that they left in the land of Moab. Moab was a cursed land. They didn't ask God before they took off. When you have the covenant of God with you, the Lord is going to guide you. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Say, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Know your way of religion and he can direct your path. When God is directing your path, you will be successful in life. You will make it in life. Praise the living Jesus. Number three, prosperity and fruitfulness. Act of the Lord attract prosperity and fruitfulness. It attracts prosperity and fruitfulness. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. In the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 6, 2 Samuel, chapter 6, verses, uh, starting from verse 11, let me read verse 11, Acts, I mean, 2 Samuel 6, 11, and the hand of the Lord contain, continue in the house of Obedido, the Gaita is three months, and the Lord blessed Obedito and all his household. Three months, <coughs> and the heart of the Lord was with Obedito. The Lord blessed him and his household. He was deeply blessed. He was deeply blessed. And it was told King David, saying, The Lord had blessed the house of Obedito and all that pertained unto him because of the heart of the Lord. So David went, brought up the heart of the Lord from the house of Obedidon unto the city of David with gladness. What they despaired before, because the heart of the Lord killed somebody, David despaired, despite the heart of the Lord, and went to take it to the Obedidon house. For him to be destroyed, the instead of destruction, the man was blessed abundant. He was fruitful for three months. That the heart of the Lord was in. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. He was blessed abundantly. Amen. And God Almighty will also bless you in the name of Jesus. When you keep the heart of the Lord in your body, in your life, and you make your life pure and holy, your life begins to attract good things. You know, you will not expect poverty, you will not expect sickness. You will be healed and healthy. You will be strong and healthy. Amen. Amen. Anything evil will not be for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Lord is good. Amen. Amen. So what are the things that stop the blessings of God from coming to one's life? When you have the act of the Lord dwelling in you, expect great things, expect good things, expect success. But there are something that can stop it. Disobedience and sin can stop the act of the Lord from functioning. It can make the act of the Lord to be dormant. To be dormant. Do not be effective. Do not be strong again when you disobey and you continue to dwell in sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second part is apathy and neglect of God's presence. 
Apa Chan, the great of God presence. When you stop worshiping God, when you stop praying, you make it to be dormant, you make it to be impotent. <coughs> you are not making it to be strong <coughs> again. When you lack faith, you are not making the heart of the Lord to be strong. But when you have the consciousness that the heart of the Lord is within you, that the Lord Almighty is the source of your blessing, you have that faith that you will not lack. God begins to provide everything you need for you. There are some animals that don't work, they don't labor, but God is feeding them every day. How much more woman be that God make their head? We are head of all God's creations. And how will God, God bless us? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So if we want to enjoy the blessings of God, let us let the heart of God dwell in us. Apart from dwelling in us, let us raise water in our home. Let us make our home to be poor. When we want the blessing of God to come to our home, to our house, let us make our home pure. Let us dedicate our home to God. Let us dedicate our family to God. Let us raise altar in our home. Let's build altar in our home. Let's build altar in our family. When we have the heart of God in our family, all the members of that family will be doing well. They will be prospering. They will be making it. There will be no sickness in that house. There will be no poverty in that house. There will be no lack in that house. God will continue to prosper the house. And all the members of the house will begin to prosper. Wherever they go, the heart of God will be with them and go with them and pave way for them and clear way for them. Praise the Lord. I pray in the presence of the heart of God be with us today in the name of Jesus. Let us rise upon our feet. Let us pray. Lord, build your heart in my life. Let the hand of God dwell with me today. Let the hand of God live inside me today. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray, pray, and pray, and pray, and pray, and pray. Lord, let the presence of God be with me. Build your heart in my life. Let your heart be dwelling in me. Let your heart be dwelling in me today in the name of Jesus. Build your heart in my family, in my life. Let your heart stay in my life. Don't let your heart depart from my life. Don't let your heart depart from my home. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's pray. Let your heart, heart attract blessing to me. Let your heart attract greatness to me today. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the heart of God attract blessing to me. Let it attract greatness, faith, blessings unto me, greatness unto me, in the name of Jesus. Let your heart attract greatness to my children, to my family, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Bless me, bless me, protect me, guide me. Let me be under protection and guidance of Almighty God through your heart this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, put your heart inside us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your heart be dwelling with us. Let your heart be dwelling in our home. And let the hand of God attract great blessing, attract favor, attract money. In the name of Jesus. Attract influence to us in the name of Jesus. Father, we reject all party. We reject sickness, we reject calamity, we reject barrenness in our life. In the name of Jesus. Bless us, bless our home, bless our children, bless our family. In the name of Jesus. Whatever we make the heart of God to be done in our life, Father, don't let us do that in the name of Jesus. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 Jesus. Three things, hallelujah.